Hello, this is Amp again with Man's Perspective. Hey, I'm back. Um, I think I told you I was going to do part two. Yesterday I talked about not having my father in my life and how that affected me and how I made some choices that I shouldn't have made. So I'm going to continue and talk about the things and choices I made that were not wise, that I could have been taken out of here. I can remember feeling, and I hadn't identified this feeling. I guess I was feeling longing for my father's attention, relationship. And what I did was I actually, um, remember I started smoking weed, and drinking, not realizing I was trying to mask an ache down here. At that time, I didn't know what it was. I just knew I had to fulfill something was missing in me. So I continued to try and mask the feeling of what I was feeling. So it caused me to make some choices that I'm not too fond of. I won't go through all the detail about the choices I made. But I made some choices that could have cost my life. Could have ended up in prison. Getting caught with the wrong crowd. Thinking of being cool, smoking weed and drinking was being cool. I must say, when I was doing that stuff, don't get me wrong, <laughs> I was enjoying it. I enjoyed it. What I found was I was looking for love in the wrong places, in the wrong things. Just searching and searching and searching and searching. Trying to find my place in society. And <clears throat> but at the time, I didn't know that's what I was doing. And show you how you have to let things that happen to you that seem to be wrong, how to let them work out for your good. I can remember uh, getting a job with, um, I got in a job at Juno Corrections and uh, dealing with teenagers who were going through, who went through a lot of problems, end up incarcerated. And they couldn't figure out for the life of themselves how I could figure out what was going on in their thinking. So one thing they didn't realize is I was once them. I didn't get incarcerated, but I made some choices. Oh, God. Some choices that I am just not too fond of. And that's how I knew how to get into their head and get a lot of our discussions rolling and them to be able to open up and talk about their life's choices. And a lot of those young men had daddy hurt, mommy hurt, most mother and fathers that went to prison. A lot of them couldn't stand their dad because he was incarcerated. I couldn't stand their mom's boyfriend because he was not, he wasn't too kind to them. So that was some of the stuff that they dealt with. Dealt with. And so I really enjoyed it. Um, I transitioned from the state corrections in two group homes in the community and I could really relate to the kids, uh, the young men because of what my life was like like I said, I didn't go to jail I wouldn't have been, been in a group home but I made a lot of the choices that they made they weren't wise so I find that whatever we go through in life what we face in life the things we face or to make it mold us and get us to a place where somebody would need us. Somebody would need our knowledge, our wisdom, our experiences to help them through the situation they're dealing with. So don't think everything you go through as a young person that is for naught. I'm not saying go out and create real wild testimonies and do wild things because you could cost you your life or your soul. I'm just saying, whatever you experience, take it as a lesson. Learn from the, the experiences. Learn the lessons experiences so you can, someone else can avoid going through what you went through. And this is what you have to do. Is take what you've been through and use it as a tool to reach others that they don't have to go through the same situation. Or if they're in the middle of a situation, you can give them advice on how you made it through the situation. And this is the way that you allow things that you go through in life work 
for you and it works out for you good and blesses somebody else. Somebody's hurting, somebody needs you. But I just want to say that we don't use it as an excuse because he's not in my life that I can't make it, I'm not worth it. We don't want to do that. Just want to know that whatever you go through, whatever you experience, you have to let it work out for your good. And if you have any brokenness, get some help with that brokenness. If you don't get help with the brokenness, what's going to happen is you're going to go from being broken, a broken person. You're going to attract a broken woman and you're going to breed broken children. It'll be kind of warped, but that's what'll happen. You just breed those kids because you and her have not dealt with your brokenness. So this is how we break a cycle of brokenness. I don't care what Papa did, Mama did. You can change it and do something different with your life. But get some help. And understand when you're broken and where you're broken and where you've been bruised. Understand that so you can help yourself and help somebody. God bless you. Just remember, this is Amp, a man's perspective. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Just know, when you have daddy hurt, it's not the end of the world. Let it work for your good. And use that experience to help somebody else. Serve somebody. Help somebody. It'll drive you to be more of a servant to others. Just be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.